Good god, this reminds me of the fair from Chrono Trigger. I believe it's the Millennial Fair or something like that. That's Chrono's native time period. If you play Chrono Trigger, this is literally the first place you go. I've always wanted to visit the Freedom Festival. Not the best circumstances, but I'll take it. The main point should just be up to the end to the left. But it wouldn't hurt to look around for a bit. This car must be full of balloons. How else would it be floating? This is the Freedom Festival. What freedom are we celebrating exactly? I certainly don't feel any more free than I did last year. Would you like to buy a balloon? I'm always terrified of letting go and losing it. Grandpa, I want a balloon. Of course, you can have a balloon, kiddo, but what color should we get? Maybe green, or what about red? So just due to how dingy this place is, you may not exactly see the colors, but... This one's a yellowish gray, this is a greenish gray, this is a reddish gray, and then this is either a bluish gray or a grayish gray. I may be old, but I can hack our eyes with the best of them. Welcome to the hacking game booth. That's why I would have said if there were any available terminals. Who would have thought that a game where you try to hack into government facilities would be so popular? Yes, who would have known? I just had a horrifying thought. What if this hacking simulator that I was thought was just a game was actually real life? I'd be in so much trouble. What's with this crazy statue? It looks like a bunch of tentacles shooting up to the sky. Do you learn nothing while you're at school? Each stock represents one of the pillars of RA New Life. First stability, second unity, third freedom. This looks like crazy nightmare fuel to me. And I think I forgot to point it out earlier, but I believe there was a picture of Cthulhu in one of the posters at the area outside the nightclub. Probably just a tribute because these guys made the Cthulhu Saves the World game. So she has the same thing to say. Rise from primitive beings to planetary mastery. Also strangely represents skyscrapers on fire. If I hear one more word about Australia on the news, I think I'm going to puke. Gee, you don't think they could be planning on attacking here, do you? Clean is so fun. Clean is so fun. The only festival on the planet that lasts all year long. Just taking a break from the scavenger hunt. Every item is available at the festival, but it's still tough to find them all. Where could I find a ram chip for the scavenger hunt? Maybe your robot here has a spare one they're not using. The Sclarian Stones is easy to see now, but just before I picked it up, it was very hard to spot. Welcome to the Freedom or to the Festival Scavenger Hunt booth. One sec while we calculate your personalized list of items. Here's what you need to collect: a ram chip, a tuft of green fur, a sparkling stone, an edible cup. So are those actually here? Because I remember the green fur would be the cat all the way back there. This police officer here a minute ago asking if I'd see anyone suspicious. So annoying. Step on up, folks. Guess which cyber shell holds the cyber data and win a prize. Oh, left. Are you actually able to win this? I don't think so. Yeah, she thinks it's rude too. <laughs> Enjoy the Freedom Festival, fragile organ, organic based life form. Please enjoy the Freedom Festival. Nothing to see here, citizen. Move along, they misspelled here. The new recruit is driving me crazy with his patrolling. Why don't you just stand around and act like he's supposed to? Act bored like he's supposed to. Move along, move along. Let's keep the major walkways clear for pedestrian traffic. Wait a second, miss. Do I know you? I don't think so. Alyssa? You must be mistaken. No, I remember now. The family reunion ten years ago. I'm your third cousin twice removed, Finn Finnegan LaSalle. There were so many people, you probably don't remember me. So, what are you up to these days? Oh, nothing much. Just running from the law. Yes, copy that. Sorry, but I can't catch up. As a member of the police force, it's up to me and me alone to make sure this festival runs smoothly. Another time, perhaps. Duty calls. That was a close one. Last thing I want in this situation for somebody to draw attention to me. The only thing wrong with the agency of peace and intelligence is that it's too good. That's worrisome. 
No government organization should be that good, could it? They must be hiding something. Some days I wish I could eat human food. Lukewarm Glursh duck toy nuggets. Fried Zarlac roast brog legs. Everything's already been paid for by the state. What can I get you? It's still moving. You eat the lukewarm Glursh. I can feel it wiggle down my throat. Yuck. I really love these things as a kid. You eat the duck toy nuggets. Tastes just like the ones mom used to microwave for me. Fried Zarlac. I've heard that Zarlac is supposed to be really good for you. You eat the fried Zarlac. Not bad. Roast Brog Legs. Doesn't look very appealing, appetizing, but here goes nothing. You eat the Roast Brog Legs. Wow, that's actually really good. I heard some thieves broke into the Skybreaker Tower and stole the blueprint to an experimental mech. Even if they have the designs, they wouldn't have the funds to construct such a thing, right? This bridge used to be the perfect place to watch the Freedom Festival Parade go by. I stand here watching, even though the parade hasn't been a part of the festival for years. And we can walk through the tree, it looks like. Both of them. Just doing a routine inspection on the East Plaza, we'll open the road route again momentarily. I'm stronger than you, yeah, you think so. You wanna hear a secret? A hear straight has been using that alleyway over by the Battle Arena tent as a secret meeting place. If I've heard about it, just how secret could it be? If I was in charge, I'd be sure to arrest anyone who went there. My teacher's installing a firmware upgrade so I don't have to go to school today. Can't stop eating these ductoid nuggets. I have a cup of wonderful fountain water. That's yeah, totally environmental friendly. The cup is even edible. I wouldn't actually recommend eating it though. It tastes like salmon flavored toothpaste. I'll just take the cup, please. So yourself. You've got an edible cup. If you try to win at the Rock Paper Scissors booth with luck, you'll never succeed. But with luck, with logic, it's as simple as pi to the 50th digit. You manage to win all eight rounds, you get a prize. Same in two and three. Never more than twice in a row. So one and four and two and three are the same. I'm gonna write these down. So I'm I'm just gonna lock in random stuff. So two and three, so two equals three. Less than two. One equals four. Five beats one. Five equals seven. So no paper in two or four. That's your biggest clue yet. Rock... No, rock three or eight. This is our first mention of eight so far. Paper is the least. This is another big clue. Okay, so the first one we have to pay attention to is that there's no paper in 2 or 4. So 2 is the same as 3, 1 is the same as 4. So that means paper is 5 and 7. I'm making an itemized list right here. So, paper is 5 and 7. And then paper is the least, which means all the other ones are going to be scissors and rock, including 8, which only has the one clue. And since we know rock is not 8 or 3, that means 2, 3, and 8 are scissors.
And now the other reason why we know that uh, 2 and 3 are scissors is because 5 beats 1, paper beats rock, and then 1 equals 4, so 1 and 4 are rock. And then there were no clues given at all for six. So let's see, if we add this up, we only have two rocks so far, which means six has to be rock. So as a result, we will have three rocks, three scissors, two paper. And that will follow all the rules, such as no repeating more than two times, because five and seven are paper. So our order is round one is she's using rock, so we actually have to beat these, so we want paper, rock, rock, paper, scissors, paper, scissors, rock, aquabasher. So this was definitely worth it. So I didn't notice this is such a large jump in power. This is only three stats, but it's 24 points weaker than this. And holy crap! Wow. That was really worth it. Now if that round was rock, then the round would have to be paper, or was it scissors? I'm so confused. So this is your clue that you actually have to beat it. The list I calculated was her moves, the opponent, Then we have to base ours off of that. That alien cat is deceptively tough. I wouldn't enter the battle ring if I were you, so we need to to get the green fur. We have a lot to celebrate. Well, I just think, if it wasn't for the efforts of the Agency of Peace and Intelligence in fusing that reactor meltdown, we'd all be dead. Bought a raffle ticket. They told me I have to come back in person the next day to see if I want anything. How retro. Eh, why not? Actually, hold on, let me see my money. Yeah, I'm cool. Come back here. Freedom Festival is always so fun. I feel like everyone's staring at me, and why should they? I'm amazing. You don't happen to have a spare ram ship, would you? I do. It's good hunting gave you a whole box full of them. All you have to do is earn all you have to do to earn one here is dance. Here goes nothing. So I was kinda wondering if these would be famous dances and stuff, because it looks like this guy's kinda doing a caramel dancing thing. And then I'm not entirely sure what <laughs> this is. That looks like something from the eighties, to be honest. There's no robot doing the Macarena, that we can call it Blitzcrank or anything, so... Oh well. It's enough, don't hurt yourself. Use your ramp chip, you earned it. Keep the spirit of the groove forever in your heart. These robot DJs are good, but I wish Lauren was singing here. Legends tell a secret battle style that utilizes dances as attacks. Look at the dancers here, I find the legends hard to believe. My dance function is a wild loop that never ends. Is that supposed to be a whole loop, or... I don't know. It's another typo, though. I'm not dancing. I'm trying to recalibrate my suit. So those who remind me of Daft Punk. Hi there, kitty. My sense of familiar aura. Intriguing. You may look like a strong lass. Can you test your strength and skill in the arena? That's kind of steep, so let's drop a save real quick. And I just noticed we're in a different thing. So yeah, I'm just going to have to splice these apart. Kind of interesting that where I stopped actually was right before the thing itself stopped. Pause is not a cat, apparently. <laughs> Let's do this one. I'm hoping to make him vulnerable for next turn, but I guess not. Kitty has tentacles. Wow.
So I want to try to make him vulnerable still. And now I don't remember what the power difference is between these. I want to say Drown is better just because it's a single target, but I'm not 100% on that. Still, down goes the kitty cat. Delegate. Target gets an extra turn, which can be pretty helpful. Saying we did not get a boost to physique. Impressive technique, I submit. Somebody actually won? I didn't expect that. I mean, congratulations on your victory. As promised, here's your prize. 2,000 credits. I also need your fur. It's going to sound weird, but can I have a tuft of your fur? A memento of our battle? Why not? Tuft of green fur. Thank you. So I think over here, going along that side, is the meeting place. It's just, I don't remember what all else I need to get for the scavenger hunt. Check, check, no, check. So he said the sparkling stone is difficult to see until you pick it up. There it is. What's this? Glittering stone. Okay, I won. Give me my prize. Give me, give me, give me. Here you go. That's all the items. Congratulations, you're the first one done. Enjoy your prize. Leader Satchel. Powers combined. Wow. We're equipping this one. It's going to be especially handy in places where Dave can use the AoE heal to keep everyone afloat. That's the logic bot. This should be the place. Hope I don't have to wait long. I've been expecting you. Steel! So hasty. Before you do anything rash, why not have a few words with your friend? Sorry, Alyssa. Dave! We haven't found the gunmancer yet, but it's only a matter of time. Now if you don't want me to execute your friend on the spot, you'll give yourself up without a fight. Don't do it, Alyssa. Save yourself! Can you hear me? I'm with Astraea, and we've got things under control. Play along with them for now. We'll get you two out without a scratch. Very well. I concede defeat. Smart girl, although it was rather foolhardy of you to show up here in the first place. Coming to a well-known Australian meeting spot, you were practically asking to be captured. Pursuant to the Agency of Peace and Intelligence Loyalty Act of 2059, all traitors will be dealt with by public execution. But given your years of exemplary service before you lost your mind, I'm willing to sweeten the deal. What do you have in mind? A martyr makes for a better public narrative than a mere execution, and if you play nice, I might even spare your friends. At this wonderful festival, we celebrate the freedom that we have under the watchful eye of the Agency of Peace and Intelligence. For many years, brave and selfless members of the Agency have worked tirelessly to secure our shared freedom. Why, just a few days ago, a brave agent defeated evil and saved our wonderful city from total destruction. And today, I'd like to introduce you to that agent. Please welcome a true heroine of our time, Melissa LaSalle. Hey, is our buddy Echo? No, Echo, I thought we were friends! Dominic Steele whispers into your ear. Yes, that's right. Wave for the people. Put on a happy face so that your death will be all the more tragic. Alyssa. Today is not your lucky day. I would have loved to have fought you face to face, but orders are orders. Just a few more seconds. Nobody kills my friends. Don't think you're getting away with anything. I always get my mark in the end. Alyssa's safe. How are things on your end? We rescued Dave and are heading to the meeting point we discussed earlier. I'm going to regroup with Alyssa. See you in a bit. Alyssa, are you injured? No, I'm okay. That was too close for comfort. I had no idea you were a secret agent. That's so righteous! There could still be threats. As a member of the police force, it's up to me to ensure that you leave here safely. 
Officer, come with us. We must escort Alyssa to safety. Yes, sir. Who goes there? Identify yourself. Ooh. A large bounty of snow with your name attached to it, Alyssa LaSalle. Nothing personal. I believe this is one of the Kickstarter backer characters. But Finn's a good shot, it looks like. Two versus one. That's hardly fair. For you. Sorry I'm late, did I miss anything? Same old story, this bounty hunter wants to kill me. Well, we can't have that. Now, actually, I went through all that trouble to have you not die. Another fighter enters the ring? My, my, this could be interesting. So, let's see what he is. Freelance bounty hunter, always searching for the next kill. We're going to use the snake strike to poison him. Holy crap! So we need to see what all he does. Shoot, deals damage, cover fire, damage to all enemies, inflicts disarm. Wow! Only downside though is if you look at his hyper bar, it takes five shots for him to get up there. Hide from enemies, stinging fly, buff attacks also inflict in rage, defense up. Hmm. So this is a one thing use, and he doesn't have any programs. So let's heat up. Ouch. So, let's try to stun him with our microphone. Oh well. Drown for me. Let's just shoot him. Man, he does not like cops. So I want to save Disable for the next round, assuming he lives that long. So yeah, I have no choice but to recharge here. Which is fine, since he's drawing fire. Now we can charm him in the hopes that he would have killed himself, but it wouldn't have happened anyway, so no big deal. All enemies defeated. 400 XP, 600 credits. Excellent form and tactical awareness. I can see why your bounty is so high. You're not so bad yourself. I'm afraid an even bigger mark has presented itself, though. Another time, perhaps. Another mark? Look up! It's a sentinel, or an Evangelion, one of the two, I can't quite tell. Can't let that mech destroy the city, come on. So real quick I actually wanna see. Oh. Oh wow. So now the thing is void, it gives you hackatoo. The problem is the one program here requires 80 hackatoo in order to get anything done, so I have the option to try to switch it out for something else. The thing is it just has better defense than really anything else I have to offer. So recruit branch increases HP by 20 uh, points. In terms of abilities, yeah, he has all of his equipped. In terms of items, how do we get more? I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. May very well be up there, but worth knowing we can walk through the traffic cones. Can't let that mech destroy the city, yada yada yada. So yeah, we did have to come up here. So 
So yeah, this is a mech, <laughs> and where to begin? So I can't rust it without Dave. I'm gonna need to hope I can just burst it down or something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. There's no cursor there. I also don't have an AoE heal at the moment. Ah uh, man, I shouldn't have used that AoE attack. Oh well. Bring on the flood. I'm telling you, this guy has no respect for the police. Let's finish him off. Now, the worst case scenario is if they can get back up. Lots of trench. Just in time. Let's just get vigilant so I can use my water moves. One thousand two hundred. So am I supposed to be under level? Because I've been fighting everything up until now. Swift breeze. Add wind to attacks. Little gnat, stop moving, let me crush you. That should keep it from running off for a little while. We need to get higher. Inside that apartment building. So I actually want to equip that new ability. Question is, what am I not really using? I think solo act. I'm gonna get rid of for... Swift Breeze. It only lasts three turns, though. Guess we can't go into the apartments themselves. Damn, that's a big rat. An ugly rat, too. So Alyssa is doing a crap load of damage right now. I guess it's possible I could be a little bit overleveled since I explored all those apartments and stuff. A little disappointing you can't go into the apartments, but then again I guess with the way the inventory system works, like what are you supposed to get? It's either equipment or something you can take into battle, so... Yeah. Can't use the blacked out one. Crud, I missed whatever it said right there. I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. I take you're going after the bounty on that mech as well? You can't just let it destroy the city. An emerald desire, seems our goals align. What say you? Shall we form an alliance? And you won't try to kill me? On my honor. Very well. Zorv has joined the party. He just tried to kill us. I was there. You were there. We'll be fine. What's going on? You haven't studied alien cultures like, have you? Zexus don't lie. But, I mean, he, uh, he's still trying to kill us. Get over it. Having another warrior on our side as we take down a giant robot can only be a good thing. Brutalize. <laughs> so, actually we'll just go down the list. We have cut. Physical damage to one enemy. Brutalize. Heavy damage, no style. Bloodlust restores user's life. Ability refresh whenever an ability dies. Whenever an enemy dies. Huh. 
So that means it doesn't refresh any other way. Infect, inflicts poison, bring defeat, can survive desperate. So we have Cornered Beast, which is kind of like a minus strike type move. Freezing Touch. One enemy, pretty likely to stun. Auto Revive once per battle. Only lasts six turns, though. Die or die. Heavy Burst, but it costs you all your HP. Auto Attack until target is dead and then your attacks do double damage. So that's what he has equipped right now. I have, since I'm fighting a robot, I'm gonna get rid of Infect for... Rebirth. Just in case. He's level 18, so I'm still not sure if I'm actually low or not. Greed, self-motivate. Boost damage at a money penalty, gain 10% money from battle. Oh yeah, what was his uh, accessory? Nice cape, increases physique. Do not stand in front of the glowing light. Just saying. Much larger than your arms. Generates almost half the mech's power. Much larger than your arms. So let's wipe out the core, I guess. I don't know. It sucks that the core is only weak to ice, I'm guessing, or something. Luckily we have our new robot friend for that. Let's use Drown, since it's gonna get buffed. Use heat up. Let's use this. Bring on the flood. Cover fire. Let's try this one. Six hundred. So I'm going to finish this one off. And we'll cut this. Disarm the core. And she gets another move, I guess, due to her speed. There's Vulnerable, which I can't actually abuse here, so let's trench. We'll try the Quartered Beast. There we go. So another crap load of XP, everyone pretty much levels up. Rally, recharges abilities, heals party for a small amount. This is very, very helpful. Nothing new from Finn. Desperate Stab, triple damage and HP is negative, so basically you're setting yourself off with one last stabbing. Just a little bit further until the top. Find a veteran badge. 
So I actually do want to equip this on Finn. It's going to cost him some hit points, but as long as he's pulling aggro, his own self-heal will work. That means we're more likely to target you. His healing move is self, if you didn't notice. I don't know if I'm going to include any of the fights where I actually realize that. And since at this, at the time of this recording, no one has said anything about, hey, leave the normal battles in, they are staying on the editing room floor, so to speak. So I assume the, yep, shoulder cannons. Can repair damage when threatened. More dangerous when cannons are disabled, so you probably want to aim for the head first. Now notice this has a wind weakness, which is where that speed buff can come into play. I'm gonna need to use that next turn. As for right now, I don't have anyone who can deal electrical damage since Dave's in here. I think I want to save the freezing touch for next turn. Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah, Swift Breeze. So right here we're using Defense Stance, Freezing Touch to the face, oh come on, <sighs> you had to go and make me angry. Let's recharge. Going to entrench here. The amount that those things can heal is already freaking obnoxious. Heat up. Oh. So only the face is left. Brutalize it. And I won on accident. So yeah, 2000 XP, 4000 credits. Hey, it's our buddy Groff. Why won't you die? That's it. If this mech won't kill you, then my pet Blobmith should do the trick. All I have to do is press the switch and it'll grow to city sized proportions. Not so fast. Oh my god, you killed Groff! A city sized monster can't be good, and yet I wonder. That idiot had the parking brake on the whole time, no wonder he was so easy to defeat. There, now this mech can perform at maximum capability. Huh, so they use their magic to make their monster grow. Punch, physical damage, extra style. Slam, physical damage boost next attack, extra damage when hyper, can for heavy damage. So we want to slam. 
try and read its text. I'll do that in a second. So we're going to use the can now for heavy damage. Just an enemy, you know. This is even a fair fight. Extra style. And then laser slash. So let's recharge. Gonna do something different on the next cycle of moves. So worth pointing out, you cannot heal here. So we're gonna start off with a cannon. Now we're going to slam, and we're gonna execute with the laser sword. Yeah, it says it's supposed to boost damage, but I'm not seeing anything. living with next to nothing. Th okay, for a second there I thought it froze. Self-destruct initiated. Warning, warning. you two are. Zorv left already? Yeah, he hightailed it out of there after you got in the mech. You were so cool taking down that monster. They never taught us this stuff at the academy. Is everyone else okay? Chan and Estrella have rescued Dave and headed up to Estrella HQ. We're supposed to meet up there. We'll find transportation at the water filtering station. I know the pass code to get in. The water filtering station is to the southwest by the shore. That's not far from here. Right, not far at all. If we hurry, we can get there before dinner. So I think that's actually the end of the festivities. No, it's not. Now, it's possible there could have been changes to areas we've been to before, it's just I didn't really feel like exploring. There's an elevator up ahead that will take us to the sub-basement. Been here before? A long time ago. Our ride should arrive any minute now. There we are. Everybody hop in. Who would have thought such a place was underwater here all this time? Impressive, yes, but I imagine it takes a lot to keep a base like this running. That's an understatement. The energy consumption is off the charts. Plus, there's the force barrier nearby. Keeps the bigger fish from destroying things, but uses even more energy. Anyway, the leaders of Astraea should be up ahead in the command room. I imagine you'll have a lot to discuss with them. So, once again, checking. And there we are, Heart of Astraea. So I'm going to call it quits here, since we'll actually have a smooth break and everything. And next time, we'll move a little bit forward. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.